the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. So when I say you need faith, it is true. Like you need currency. You don't go around the market or a mall strolling around and just desiring everything you want without the requisite level of finances to purchase that reality is that true so when you build your faith what are you doing you are elongating and extending and strengthening your capacity to draw the power of god it is true so when he says where is your faith in other words my power is available but that container that funnel to receive it remember that oil plus a small vessel does not equal profit profit is equal to oil plus a very large vessel large vessels the problem was not lack of oil it was that the capacity to carry the kind of oil that would bring that woman out of debt was not there so if i am building my faith it's like creating more vessels I'm not going to invent another oil. The oil can grow to match the size of that, that container. That's how faith works. So when you commit to building your faith, listen carefully, you are opening up yourself to more of the power of God, more of the activity of the supernatural. Are we together? I've even gone ahead of myself. Number three and the last key. Is the anointing second peter chapter 1 from verse 3 in fact let me give you one more before that the power of words just back up a bit the power of words i omitted one point here the power of words you cannot truly access the supernatural in silence the realm of the spirit is voice activated you manifest the realm of the spirit through words words in prayer words in word based declarations the realm of the spirit is activated through words everybody say words the bible says where the word of a king is there is power you want to walk in the supernatural words that you now declare over people for instance be healed in the name of jesus and at the point where you are speaking the power of god to bring that healing is now released are we together now every time jesus needed to perform a miracle almost every time there was a place in the equation of that miracle where words came forth lazarus he said come forth and he that was dead came forth words that means if you want to walk in the realm of the spirit there is no place for silence you must learn to declare not declare your problems not declare your pain declare scripture and command the realm of the spirit by the authority given to you in and through christ to respond to you accordingly and i will not be silent I will always worship you as long as I am breathing. I Please look up. The Bible lets us know that we live off two things. One, bread. Two, words. Jesus himself was teaching 
and he says the only way man lives is by bread and words bread and words if you have bread alone you will not live effectively if you have words alone you will not live effectively you want to live effectively in this kingdom you need bread for the physical realm words for the spirit realm bread and words so as i eat i speak no wonder you is the same mouth that you need to access both of them both bread and words require the same channel to remind you that you need both to survive bread and words so when i begin to declare over my life the lord is my light and my salvation i begin to declare over my destiny in the name of jesus my going out is blessed and my coming in is blessed i decree and declare the gentiles come to my light and kings to the brightness of my rising nothing dies in my hands i'm speaking with this understanding that words are powerful they can create they can adjust they can manipulate things to be consistent with the will of the father jesus is never called the prayer of god jesus is never called the fasting of god but he is called the word of god are we together when you pray what makes prayer powerful is that it is a manifestation of words whether praying in the spirit or making prophetic decrees petitions in the spirit listen to me if you ignore the prayer ministry you have ignored the opportunity to take advantage of words and create possibilities with them prayer is powerful you want to access the realm of the spirit you must obtain grace from God to pray. And please hear me in this conference. If there is anything attacking your prayer life, you must obtain grace this morning to fight it with a bulldog determination. Do not forbear with spiritual laxity. It will destroy you and give Satan access to rob you of an opportunity to live a supernatural life. Say amen, please. Amen. I believe in prayer. I truly believe in the ministry of prayer. But I believe in prayer with understanding, not shadow boxing. I believe in prayer. The Bible calls certain kinds of prayers vain babblings. Jesus was giving warnings about prayer. And he says, when you pray, there is a protocol that you must follow. But hear me, he spake a parable to the end that men ought to pray. If you are an angel, that's all right. If you are a spirit alone, that's all right. But if you are a man, there is no record of God praying. He does not need to pray. But when God became a man, he prayed. And now that he's seated as a man, he's still praying. Even in heaven, Jesus is still praying. So all men must pray. You don't pray because you are on earth. You pray because you are a man. Because even in heaven, whoever is a man in heaven there must pray. Jesus the man seated at the right hand of the father still makes intercession for the saints are we together you must obtain grace to pray pray in the morning pray in the afternoon pray in the night pray when things are all right pray when things are not all right pray when you have breakthroughs pray when there are challenges james 5 13 is any of you afflicted let him pray the biblical recommendation for afflictions of all sorts is to pray are we together let him pray pray in the spirit pray with understanding ladies and gentlemen there is no other way if we ignore the ministry of prayer prayer in the spirit prayer engaging scripture in strategic warfare prayers there are gates and there are thrones, there are dominions mandated by darkness to stand and rob you from accessing your glorious destiny. Nothing will change by default. Time does not change things. Time only reveals. It does not change. You must engage the realm of the spirit in prayer. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Someone in one minute can you pray? Pray and declare in the spirit and in understanding. I decree and declare that I begin to walk in the supernatural. 
you are declaring by the spirit of god everything around my life is supernatural supernatural finances supernatural ministry supernatural grace supernatural family supernatural advancement in the name of jesus i grow past the natural course of things supernatural living hallelujah let me give us the last key a quick recap number one the first key to accessing the supernatural and manifesting the same is knowledge of scripture the word of god number two faith faith in god number three the power of words words that come in prayer listen carefully god bless you you can help me drop it in the offering envelope thank you words that come in prayer and word-based prophetic declarations lamentation is not prayer lamentation is just a human way to express pain ah this is how my life is you are not praying no can i tell you this god is touched with the feelings of our infirmity but he only moves in response to his word god does not move in response to our feelings god is touched with our feelings but because he also submits to his word he will only respond at the instance of his word the last is the anointing mm. the anointing was given to us by god to help us manifest the supernatural the power of god second peter chapter 1 and verse 3 the Bible says, according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us unto glory and virtue. Your breakthrough will be according as his divine power gives. Your lifting is according as his divine power gives. Listen to me. The divine power of God at work in a human vessel is what transforms you to a sign and a wonder you are able to walk and manifest the supernatural when the anointing of the holy spirit rests upon your life and believe me i know what i am saying most people have downplayed the power of god because we have limited the operation of the power of god to just falling down and getting up so the moment you are able to have someone fall down and stand up many times we convince ourselves that that is the limit to the operation of the power of God the assignment of the power of God is to insist that everything in your life becomes consistent with the Word of God the assignment listen to me the power of God has the assignment to make the Word of God look true in your life that means if there is nothing to confirm the anointing has no ministry please understand this the power of god has no ministry until the word of god goes forth the assignment of the power of god is to stop the word of god from looking like a lie in your life so when god says i am lifting you he sends his power the assignment of that power is to make sure by any means you do not remain at that position are we together now yes so if the president of a nation gives a decree and says there has to be sanitation or there is a lockdown for a day the president does not go around ensuring that houses are locked and shops are locked there is an agency mandated for that but they go at the word of the president the basis of their operation the basis of their arrest the basis for their release is the word of the president so if he has not spoken they cannot just come and hold you so when you decree as the king that you are in the name of jesus then the power of god is released to begin to produce the miracles and the signs and the wonders if he says i am blessed the assignment of the word of god or the power of god is to insist that anything that looks like a curse anything that defies the operation of the blessing that it be judged by that power are we together now this is very this is a, a powerful revelation if god says 
I am the head and not the tail. Then there is a dimension of his power that is released over that statement. The power continues to trail and guide me. If anything appears in my life that can make me the tail, that becomes the assignment of the power of God. It stays there to deal with that situation until it brings me back as the head. If God declares upon your life that favor follows you, that anointing for favor will rest upon you like a mantle. And anybody who can bless you, that anointing will force them to not ignore you. The anointing has the assignment of insisting that they pay attention to you and attend to you until you match the level of the speaking of that favor. The four lepers, when a prophetic word came by this time tomorrow over Samaria, there were four lepers who were walking, but the power of God came to amplify their steps. And the enemies heard and they began to think that they had hired a few people to come and fight them and they ran away and left plenty there. That's the assignment of the power of God. And I know that someone who came for this conference, especially this morning, you are at a point in your life where there are many words over you but it looks like there is no performance you need to engage the power that makes that word come to pass otherwise you will keep piling prophecies that will make god look like a liar god is not a man that you should lie why is he not a man that you should lie listen to me you, you may have heard it in my teachings god became a man but he is not a man if god is a man then he must worship who created him he became a man but he is not a man men lie they don't lie because they are evil they lie because they are men <laughs> but God is not a man that he should lie not the son of man that he should repent that means before God speaks he will vet whether he has the power to back up what he's saying everything that he said here he's vetted himself and found out that he has sufficient power to bring it to pass so when God says, Joshua Selman, you will be lifted above the nations of the earth and these blessings will come upon you and overtake you. I believe him because the word is true, but I also believe him because there is a force behind that word that will insist that I do not remain small. On the strength of this, you can rise. This is why we have the audacity to come for a meeting like this and dare to say that your life will not be the same. This is why we can come for a meeting like this and dare to say that that situation that has stared you for a long time, that it can go. Imagine if it were just mere words. It would be dangerous to just give people mere words and information. Behind the things that we say, there is a throne, there is grace, and there is power that backs it. Blessed is she that believes, he says, for unto her there shall be a performance. Listen to me. If I take this water, I don't need to run to the lab and verify whether it is working correctly, whether it went to the right places. I trust the design and the wisdom and the intelligence of God. There is power that works there. Once it passes through my throat, I go and find rest. I do other things as proof that I know that God is intelligent enough. He's put this system. Imagine how long men live and yet they've never had to tear themselves open to verify whether digestion is happening correctly or not. And can I tell you this? He took responsibility for your trust in him. That's why he gave medicine and doctors. So that in case there is any malfunction, you have a right to outsource another drug and you can take it. And by taking it, it corrects everything. And if it defies that drug, should he not be responsible enough to say, now that this is over, I created this to function this way. If drugs are limited, then I can outsource from another realm beyond trees beyond water beyond injection i can bring another reality to keep you in place we are going to pray very briefly this morning i want you as you prepare to stand to believe that things will definitely begin to change in your life because of the reality and the presence of the supernatural the supernatural is an advantage that God gave the believer 
that we can command signs we can command wonders we can make tremendous levels of advancement in our lives if we move beyond the realm of science beyond the realm of intellect can i tell you there is a disclaimer though if you intend to walk in the supernatural then you must be ready to believe the things that science may not allow you may be ready to believe certain things that do not make sense are we together now it is not scientifically correct to dance and get breakthrough why will you dance your way to victory it doesn't make sense scientifically you work hard to get breakthrough but there is a mystery when you access the supernatural you must be childlike enough to subscribe to the formula that makes you to receive supernatural results please rise up on your feet from a human standpoint you don't give to increase no you keep to increase but in this kingdom it says you give and then you increase medically speaking you don't lay hands on a man and the man gets healed you submit the man through a therapy you administer drugs but the bible says they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover in one minute i like you to pray and ask the lord to grant you grace that you desire to begin to walk and live in the supernatural please lift your voice and pray you are a man of god here pray end time ministry requires the supernatural you will never truly 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 be able to command the kind of kingdom influence that you desire obtaining natural results you're a businessman it cannot be at the frequency of the natural lift your voice and pray please pray please pray just a few minutes this morning and we're done pray for the grace to build your faith the grace to build your faith the grace to build your faith your capacity to believe God your capacity to walk in keeping with spiritual principles declare over yourself the grace to pray the grace to pray the grace to pray the grace to pray, grace to pray. no spiritual laxity the fire and the grace to pray hallelujah please look up the final prayer that i want you to pray is for the kind and the level of power that must come upon your life to turn you to another man he says i have found david my servant and with my holy oil have i anointed him it takes the power of the holy spirit to transform you from a natural individual to a supernatural individual the results that you need to command have to be spiritual to bring glory to the name of the lord you are going to pray power from heaven may fresh fire and fresh power come upon your life come upon your business go ahead and pray Please pray, let it be from the depth of your heart. Fresh power from heaven. The Bible says, as he came out of the water, which represents the word, the heavens were opened and the Holy Ghost descended upon him. In the similitude of a dove he was then driven to the wilderness fasted 40 days and 40 nights and the bible says and he returned in the power of the spirit spiritual empowerment is a necessity if we must walk in the supernatural say unto god 
how terrible art thou in thy ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you ministry with power business with power career with power family life with power excelling in destiny with power someone is praying no more ordinary living no more ordinary business supernatural by the spirit the power of god has come to my life to give me an advantage hallelujah hallelujah please listen before i step down i want to encourage you as much as possible please i want you tonight to invite everyone you love and everyone you know for the service tonight because i believe with all my heart that one of the things that the lord is going to be doing is that he will be granting us encounter with power genuine power that produces results results that can be proven listen if your life does not bear fruit and it does not command results you will be frustrated for a while you may ignore it as though it does not matter but eventually the frustration will eat you up and it will not give you room to be fulfilled it says listen to me herein is our father glorified when ye bear much fruit so shall you be my disciples hallelujah praise the name of the lord let me just speak over your life this morning and then we wrap up thank you for your patience and i pray that this truth you have heard will not just be a preacher's information but that it comes to your heart and that it dwells in your heart and that it will produce results in your life i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus christ there's there's no time for ministration now but i, I just saw the hand of god just rest on a lady right now just saw like the power of god just resting on one lady right now please help her my dear i don't know if you're a member of this church or not but the lord said i should tell you that that is an an end he's brought an end to captivity over your life and your family just help her she doesn't have to come out in the name of jesus christ an end to captivity by the spirit of the living god father i thank you for the privilege of ministering your word to your people the kind of power and anointing that you need for the days that are ahead i decree and declare right now may that engracing from heaven rest upon you for someone you are a man of god you came for this conference with hunger crying from the depth of your heart for a new anointing crying from the depth of your heart for a new release in the name of jesus may that grace rest upon you for someone you came here because the challenges that stand before you the level of grace you have accessed may not be able to give you triumph above it in the name of jesus let there be an upgrade of power from today ordinary living comes to an end in your life ordinary business comes to an end in your life ordinary ministry comes to an end in your life you begin to walk in the supernatural you begin to manifest the supernatural and in the name of jesus i declare that the spirit of error the spirit of deviation and apostasy deviation from the patterns of god remains far from you you will access the realm of the spirit correctly and you will manifest the same in a way that edifies you and glorifies jesus in the name of jesus christ for many of you between now and this evening you return with strange testimonies in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it 
see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline 